joy, faith, freedom, presence, oneness. Surgeons saved my life the first time, but these five virtues saved my life a second time. In 1982, at Eggleston Children's Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, I died for four minutes. When I woke up, I found that I remembered the entire experience. And I knew then, even at the young age of eight, that I was going to live the rest of my life without any fear of death. I'd been given a glimpse of my eternal nature. Having had a profound experience like that at a young age did not, however, make me wise beyond my years. Sadly, the opposite is true. With no fear of death in my 20s, I behaved like Jim Morrison in Ralph Macchio's body. <laughs> but I'm 38 now. I'm a father and a husband. Yes, I'm still keenly aware of my eternal nature, and no, I'm not afraid of dying. And now, on top of all that, I have a lot to live for. I've devised these five practices over many years to instill balance and purpose into a life for so long governed only by excess and wild abandon. I work with these mindsets daily. I'm very excited to share them with you. Number one, seek out your joy. Whatever it is, wherever it is, go and find it. The work that truly happy people do is that we go through our daily lives relentlessly looking for stuff to feel good about. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. With just a little bit of practice, consciously seeking out your joy in your daily life becomes a way of life. Don't wait for your happy life to begin. Number two, trust in the process of life. We spend an abundant amount of time in our minds trying to figure out why did this happen or why didn't that happen. Whether your beliefs rest on spirituality or on science or on cult films, with faith comes freedom. If you can just concede that life has some sort of pattern or plan, you can let faith in. Then you become free to be the pixel of color you are and leave this brilliant masterpiece to the artist's hand. Number three, be non-attached. We love our attachments. Our attachments strengthen our identity. They reinforce our ego. Ego needs attachments, along with paradigms and judgments and addictions. Ego needs drama. Your ego will resist your efforts at letting go of that old story of yourself. Because ego is fighting for its very existence. Ego knows that what you are is eternal and profoundly free. Number four, live in the now. Are there any Eckhart Tolle fans in the room? I knew it. This is going to be easy. The only power any of us have to exact any measure of change on our life situation is in the present moment. Past and future are only stories in the mind. Enlightenment is nothing more than intense presence. Techniques like meditation and awareness of the inner body are invaluable tools when one is learning to calibrate oneself to naturally come to rest in the present moment, which is a good idea because in the present moment, life's burdens fall away. The great Zen master Reinze used to ask his students what in this moment is lacking. Fifth and finally, Know your oneness with all things. There are currently about 7 billion people on this planet, along with countless other animals, plants, sea creatures, bacteria, etc. Look, there is one life on this planet, and you are a unique facet of it. Our separate bodies, our separate consciousnesses, they're only partitions. They are not walls. They don't go all the way to the ceiling. Do you think a fish knows that it's wet? I tell you, the space between us is not at all empty. Everything you have discerned as out there stuff, your body, this stage, your thoughts, are all fundamentally, at their most basic level, the same thing, energy, vibration only. This means that your thoughts are as powerful a tool for transformation as a hammer or a nail. Even more so. So we've come to an understanding here. Seek out your joy actively in every day. Trust in the beautiful process of life to keep you and care for you. It will. Be non-attached. Freedom is your friend. Live in the present moment to honor all the moments that got you here and know that you are one with all things. I have flyers with these bullet points available afterwards. If anyone wants one, come see me. With that, I bid you go lightly through life. Namaste.